Hello everyone, my name is Garrett O'Gamer. Welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. We are going to be doing some negotiations here. We're going to be telling these people, hey, we want to be your buddies, and hopefully they'll like us enough. So, once again, petition seems to be really useful. Please. Allies? Yes. Alright. We are now uh, allies with Ma Shao. That's good. That is very good. That's a good start. We're trying to be as good as we can be. I wish to propose a deal with you. What do you say to these terms? Yes. That's perfectly fine. I have nothing against you. <laughs> uh, yet. We will, eventually. That's kind of the point, isn't it? Um, let's see if we can construct a facility now. I've been wanting to construct another weapon forge. Good. Now we can start buying much better weapons. Uh, yes. I'm aware of these things. Okay, that's good. Thank you for making them happy. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's purchase ourselves some throwing axes. And this is going to be a definitive upgrade from what we already have. Player info, weapons... Oh wait, duh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um... We could use either more stratagems or, uh... We could use either more stratagems or we could definitely use ourselves some more, um... What do you call them? Items. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be most useful for our purposes, but... We'll see how it goes. We have had a child. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, you have had a daughter. Um, we're gonna call her Brynhild. Uh, Bryn... Wait, I think I misspelled that. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No. Okay. Bryn... Hild. It's been a while since I've actually used that name, so... Brynhild! Yay! We have had a daughter, and she will hopefully follow in her parents' footsteps and not be evil. Uh, but that is literally um, up for debate here. Uh, we should try another alliance with somebody. Just because trying to be as good about things as we can be. Petition. Join my cause. Yay. Okay. That's good. He says this as he tries to conquer the land. Okay. I think it's about time we invaded. Um, we're going to take over this guy's territory. Because we're feeling up for that challenge. Take Leo Bay with us. Some nobodies. Okay, this looks good. We can do this. Advance towards the enemy main camp. No shit. Pixie here. One of the uh, elves from Santa Claus's kingdom. Okay. Oh god, I forgot what weapon she had. I had to give her an excuse to give her the largest weapon I could find, considering how small she was. <laughs> I felt it was a, a little bit of a hilarious comparison. Rosa here. My last incarnation of Rosa, she was kind of overweight. And I actually liked it that way, because she was... Oh no, she's still overweight. Never mind. <laughs> Looking at her. No, the thing is, like when you think of assassins, you know, everyone gets a sleek image in their head, but the truth is, real assassins are quite, you know, normal. They're, they're not, you know, these suave, muscular individuals. I mean, they're ready for anything, but they're not like Hollywood portrays them. They're average looking people. So I was like, oh, I want Rosa to be, uh, you know, a court assassin. Oh, I want her to, you know, have a little bit of a belly on her. I oh, you know, she works out. 
but most of the arms can do less of us. <laughs> this doesn't deny her her success. The character in mind has killed a lot of people. She's very effective at it. She blends in with crowds, and then when you least suspect it, she puts on her little death mask and uh, deals you a, a hand of no mercy and murder. Okay. Well, these weapons are incredibly powerful. We would have done a lot better if we left the kingdom at some point and um, got ourselves some quest-based magical weapons. The thing is, I'm not going to do that this play around, I've said that before, and, and only because of how much time it takes. Get our super lanky ass horse here. Arr, yes, my fine friend, let's go! <laughs> I call him Mr. Sticklegs. You best be frozen. We're going to burn you now after being frozen. Wouldn't that cause, like, all the vessels in your body to explode at once? No. It's, it's soft and squishy. They're not enough to, uh, actually burst in that manner. I mean, they would burst if they're cold enough, but that's why freezing people doesn't work. <laughs> as much as I would love to be put into a cryostasis when I get older, it doesn't work. You just die and you become a popsicle. All your fleshy bits get destroyed by ice crystals. Why am I talking about that? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, this series is the series where I just randomly talk about ideas in my head, and you see a lot of people go flying off camera. <laughs> Enjoy your day in the sky as I throw you with my magical returning axes. <laughs> Sorry, but this is just such a badass weapon when you think of it. Matrix plus fucking Reign of Fire. If you've ever seen that movie, the guy, like, jumps at dragons with an axe. It's like, come on. I want to be able to throw that axe at the dragon and then have it return. <laughs> uh, that'd be cool. Come here, horsey. Mr. Lanky. Mr. Sticklegs. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, God, I'm being stuck by people. Oh, shit. Why does it do that? I'm stronger than you. It used to be that you would ride your horse through enemies, and if they happen to be stronger than you, like, vastly stronger than you, your horse would stop moving. But I've noticed the game just, let, you know, it says, hey, you can't run through an entire crowd of enemies, and I'm sorry, but this isn't supposed to be realism. Look what I'm doing. I'm freezing in mid-air for several seconds to turn people into icicles. <laughs> I don't want my horse to act, you know, like this is reality. Please, don't do this. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're all too easy. And now you're all dead. Boom! Okay, they are finished. Go. Get out of my way. Christ. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> We're uh, not going to the main camp just yet. We're going to take this. We just want to rub it in that we've conquered their lands. And their people will be better off for it. I mean, our character is a good guy, so... I'm not conquering them to enslave them. Although I am having to kill a lot of innocent soldiers that I'd otherwise try to convince to join my, join my cause. I know some people would say that's like very Darth Palpatine. Darth, Darth Sidious, I should say. God, I should know this. I'm such a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> it's very Darth Sidious of you, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> what? Lisa, Hutsa, Lisa. No, please. I'm not gonna step on you. No. Stop shanking my giblets. Um, so Ulrich has done something. I can't remember if that's a character we made or if that's a character that just exists. It sounds like something I would make, but I can't remember now. I have like, what, 40, 50 characters I've created, and some of them have been, uh, you know, babies of certain empires, so I don't know who Ulrich is. Maybe he's existed in the game. Maybe I created him. Fuck if I know. There's some strange NPCs running around that I know, you know, the game developers created. 
but at the same time, I'm curious if other people's saved characters are being leaked on the internet or something like that, which is a cool um, idea. It is a cool idea because you could be playing this game, and although there's like no real online co-op that I'm aware of, um, characters are migrating to your game from someone else's game. It's like, hey, yeah, this person made this person, and so many Santa Clauses are attacking you. you know? I have a Santa Claus, actually. I've seen his elves, but I don't know what he is. I don't know if they're in the same kingdom currently, and I killed the leader without realizing it. Cool, that's how we win. <laughs> I have defeated Ding Fang, and now I win. Prism forces have won. Woohoo! Okay. Um, see, those are magical. Those would have been better than what we had, but we bought better weapons, so it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can recruit them. <sighs> they look like a hard ass, they're probably not going to join you. Pixie, let's see if you'll join me. Yun, cool. Ulrich. I can't tell if I made him. I really can't. He's not ringing a bell here. Okay, you know what? Everyone just doesn't like me. We got Yun and Pixie, though. That's cool. Um, I tried to recruit everyone there. You saw it. They, they hated me. <laughs> They're like, no. We don't want to join your cause because of reasons and shit. Um... Would you be willing to fight alongside one another as opposed to fighting against each other? Wait, what? Oh, okay, I was like, is she, like, leaving me? <laughs> you, you can't leave, you're awesome! Cool, we got, we got another officer. Okay, we are going to, um... Uh, donate. So we've conquered them, and we've made them a little bit happier. I feel that's important to do. As a, as a responsible ruler, as a good guy, a likable human being, we need to make people feel very comfortable. Um, and I feel we're going to do that again. Yeah, let's do that. You are most welcome. Benevolent ruler. That's good. I'm glad you're happy. You're happy. I'm happy. He's gonna try to buy his way into Prefect. We're going to deny him that. He needs to stop doing that. <laughs> it's not good. We're gonna try to petition um, an alliance here. Or whatever we can do. Wow. 94%. Come on, Pangtong. Yes. Thank you. He's always been a reasonable one. A bit silly. A little bit off his rocker, but good. Okay. So we have made allies with Pang Tong's kingdom, which I feel is most beneficial to our cause. Um, we are going to do a raid now. I don't think we're... Yeah, I don't think we're in an ally. I don't think we can attack our own alliance, so... Let's, uh, take Kira. No, no, no. Let's... Let's take Shun Zhong. And, um... Let's weaken the shit out of these guys. We can do this. I believe in us. Hi there. I might need to, like, fight through all of you. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's very cinematic of you. Okay. Let's get some of these axes up in the air. And let's freeze them as they go all just fly around like fucking uh, toys. <laughs> You have defeated 385 people within the first few seconds of the game. <laughs> Congratulations. You are superhuman. We're gonna do Gale right off the bat. <laughs> I could make such a bad joke about that. <laughs> We're gonna do a Gale! <laughs> uh, I have never known anybody named Gale, and uh, all my images of... Wait, what? 
Oh, I was like, what's going on? I thought somebody... Like, did you just retreat from my army? What's going on here? No. They retreated on purpose. On purpose. Because I told them to. Okay. Let's break this thing in half. All my images in my head of a person named Gale are like secretaries for some reason. Like, I don't know, is it just me? It's like when you think of Barbara or um, Bertha, you think of like some school bus driver. Like literally, I I'm not even kidding. When I think of those names, and I'm not trying to be offensive to people with those names, because I've met some, you know, nice Barbaras, but when I think of Barbara or Bertha, I think of, like, some angry, you know, middle-aged, uh, bus driver who's just, she don't want to be here. Shut up, you stupid kids! Put your fucking seatbelt on! But, but they don't, there are no seatbelts on buses! I think there are now. Uh, when I was growing up, we didn't have those. We had those big, uh, ugly-ass, off-yellow-colored school buses, like, El Generica... Americana school bus. If you're not from America, you probably won't know what I'm talking about, but, uh, yeah, they had those fucking terrible, like, diarrhea green seats that had, like, asbestos filling and metal, I'm not even shitting you, like, literally metal bars that were, like, poking through, so if you sat down the wrong way, you'd fucking, like, get, like, back problems like you've never had in your entire life. <laughs> and, um, there's a fucking fly on my screen. Get out of here. Go. Plain Dynasty Wars, damn it. Oh, oh, it's my Gale. I'm blowing. Gale blew them. That sounds equally as wrong. Um, yeah, so, like, we'd sit down on these fucking rickety-ass uh, seats, and our spines, you know, our little little child spines are screaming in agony at this point. And, and Bertha or Barbara or Doris would, would be, like, screaming at us, and like, shit down and shut up, and it's kind of where the South Park uh, bus driver was created. Uh, it's literally not even, not even a joke. That's where people get ideas like that. <laughs> it's like, remember back in school when we were scared to death of our elders? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers too. <laughs> um, but, anyways, so we'd be sitting down on this fucking terrible machine from hell, and uh, going over bumps and hills and. There are no seatbelts. Like, there, there's none. And you're, you're sitting down there, and you're like, you know, bus driver, my fucking spine hurts. Of course, we didn't know what fucking was back then. We didn't know what the word was. No one used it. It became its own thing, like, roughly around the uh, mid-90s. So we were just saying things like, Ow, jeez, it hurts. <laughs> the bus driver would just be like, You don't give a shit, you know? Just sit down and shut up. Yeah, and uh, also it's like, Oh, yeah, open windows in case of emergency. Let me tell you a secret. Those windows were so sticky with the saliva and sputum of, like, thousands of dead children before. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Um, that we couldn't actually open the windows. So if there was an emergency, and we did get stuck in the middle of winter once on a highway, which was just lovely, I should mention. Um, and there were fucking uh, coyotes, so that was beautiful. Uh, yeah. So again, you know, school. It's a hell of a thing. Uh, it was terrible. I'm talking about my most traumatic school memories here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And here I am playing Dynasty Wars, trying to take over a kingdom for good reasons. <laughs> and I'm telling you about traumatic bus driver stories. <laughs> Tune in next week for uh, Cafeteria Horrors, which I have quite a few stories myself. Um, so we're, we're pretty much, we've got this in the bag. I mean, if you notice in the upper right-hand corner, um, we have literally drained their forces. This raid has been a success. There's very, very little they can actually do to stop me. Um, and I don't really care if we take this kingdom itself. The raid, the purposes of the raid is to get experience, uh, increase morale, and also show our power. Because uh, we are definitely the, the dominant people right now on the map, at least in, in size. I wouldn't say numbers, definitely not numbers. Kind of making a small mistake here. We haven't gotten enough forces. I thought they should probably recruit more members to my armies. But uh, for now, we are definitely the dominant powerhouse. And we have won. So that will give us uh, definitely a boost on the map. It has scared the shit out of their kingdom. And uh, yeah. So 
I guess I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode of Dynasty Wars 8 Empires.